here we are right at the put-in on Little La Pro River. Um, I went up and scouted where I would put in at, and unfortunately there's some steel structure there. There's a man-made dam, uh, and I'm worried that there would be more steel in the water that I can't see. So I'm gonna play it safe and uh, put in just below a little bit to get away from any chance of being uh, impaled by a piece of steel. I do think this would be a super fun spot to put in on Little La Pearl River. My issue with it is this. Got these crazy looking steel bar thingies. I don't know, I don't know what they are. pretty large the water's pretty high fairly high and yeah just don't want to get tangled up in one of those but again be a very cool footing kind of behind me here maybe 30 or 40 feet there's a real nice drop there Stupid metal. This is going to be my first trip down Little La Pro River. My goal for this one is just to try to find the right level for somebody that's new into whitewater kayaking that wants to just uh, play around with uh, in some water that's not too crazy and enjoy it. So uh, let's get it on. Nice wave there right at the start. A little bony at this level. This is uh, one meter on the, the pro gauge. Hopefully we can get down to it though. Another little wave right here. Be a good spot to play around. Very pretty through here. Pretty much got a full-on downpour now, and uh, still no place I'd rather be. Just kind of a twisty, turny, easy little paddle. That's what I was looking for. Got one sweeper here. I bet this would be a really nice wave that I'm on a higher water. Seems like it'd be really friendly.
to actually paddle up from the uh, takeout. Interesting. Definitely want to make sure you hit the takeout on this one because right after it, it's a big culvert. Easy to see. Big, beautiful covered bridge. Right across the water to take out. As always, everyone, if you're enjoying the adventures, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Till the next one.